Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekend reflection brought to you by Spirit Juice Studios. This week is the last Sunday of the liturgical year. We see in the first reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 34, that God prophetically speaks through Ezekiel to talk about how he will shepherd his sheep. And that was all fulfilled whenever Jesus came to earth. When the word was made flesh, our shepherd was made manifest before us visibly. As we come to the end of the liturgical year, we talk about the end times, the end of all things. So Jesus says, when I come to judge, he goes, I will separate the sheep from the goats. Sometimes we get into this relativistic mindset like, well, everybody's a sheep if you want to be. But the reality is, is that when Jesus talks about what it is to be a sheep, it's all about action. The sheep are those who go out and they give clothes to the naked. They visit those who are imprisoned. Jesus says, when you did it for the least of these, you did it for me. When we see somebody who is in need, it's an opportunity to serve Jesus. That's what it is to be his follower. So it may seem intimidating as we look at this when Jesus is talking about judgment, but judgment is real. It's something we have to look at, but we do have a merciful and loving shepherd. But if we want to be the sheep, if we want to be those who actually follow after Jesus, we have to tend to the needs of our brothers and sisters. It's not about what we say all the time. It's not about the knowledge we have, it's about our actions. And this Sunday is called Christ the King Sunday because it's the last Sunday of the year. In essence, it's a bold statement from the church because we've said all these different things. We've had all these different Sundays where we've had different feasts, but the last and final word is that Jesus Christ is King of the universe. It is the exclamation point of the liturgical year. Let's seek to follow after him like good sheep. Let us use our gifts and our talents not just for ourselves, but to tend to the needy, the poor, and the vulnerable.